Anyway, let's end it with some chin stuff. Let's end it with some chin stuff. Let's end the stream with some chin stuff. So chin has been getting some love on the Reddit. So I thought I would play some clips of people reacting to stuff that he was doing. Um, I think the one I want to play is actually the primo one about him cooking some burger thing. Is it a pizza or a burger? First of all, I bought Joe's Pizza here in downtown Los Angeles. I just got a pepperoni pizza and this is called a grandma slice. I'll is this is this equivalent of like one of those things that you would deem to be a bit psychotic. Who goes and buys two pizza slices? Have you ever done that? You just go and buy two slices of pizza. Is that a thing? <laughs> like maybe it's one thing if you're out and about, but would you buy two pizza slices to bring back home to eat? You're only going to eat two. <laughs> only two. <laughs> to bring back home. That's very disciplined. I want either a half or a full pizza. I'm not going to bring back two. Well, maybe I'm just fat. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm fucking big back. Maybe this is my big back genetics talking. <laughs> I can't picture a scenario where I would only need two slices of pizza. <laughs> maybe, I've, maybe I've exposed myself in that regard. Probably eat some of the toppings. I did already. And then I'm just going to use a portion of each slice for the buns. I bought this at the market. It's just ground beef burgers, 100% beef, 20% fat. If you got a particular beef you like, go for that. But this is just me trying to grab something real quick so I can make a burger. Since I bought the patties frozen, I just took one out, microwaved one. one Why are you microwaving frozen patties? single patty on a plate for one minute which is perfect i'll turn it to high for the pan and then once it gets you know once it gets hot enough to where i can feel it right around here then i'll just drop a pat of butter on it all right so the pan is not so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fry our burger in butter that we just put in a microwave that's frozen that was frozen prior Fucking hell. nice and hot from here i can feel it I'm gonna turn it down to about seven. On Have you ever met an Asian person that cooks more like a frat boy than, than fucking Chin? He's far removed from being in college and he's very far from white, but he cooks like a frat boy. It's absolutely diabolical. I've never met a single Asian person in my life that cooks like this. Every Asian person I've met in my life, no matter where they're from, in fucking Asia, they can at least order really good food or they can cook really good food, but they don't, eat like this this is some trap house eating an electric grill not sure how that is for you guys but i have this Kerrygold butter ready I'll just <laughs> has a has a butter been up his ass or something <laughs> why is it has a butter been up his ass like why does it look so like i don't know just take a little slab of it just that much, not that much. You know what, I'm surprised you didn't put that in the microwave too. I'm surprised you didn't put the butter in the microwave. Oh, the butter's too hard, so I put that in the microwave for 30 seconds. Everything fucking goes to the microwave. Much at all. And let that melt in. You don't actually need butter because the patty has enough fat in it, but this is just to add a little bit more flavor. More. So you don't need butter, but you put butter on it anyway. This is, pre this is like British level of cooking, isn't it? As people in Britain, we love a bit of butter. If anyone that watch, has watched the fucking British Bake Off or any kind of British-based cooking show will know, British people, we love butter. We love a good... You know, I think in America, you have it too, right? A stick of butter. So maybe that's why he's doing it. You don't need the butter, but let's add the butter anyway. Cool. Butter flavor to the patty. Do all this. Just make sure that butter gets around the pan. And I would say pick it up to about eight. I'm gonna just slide this patty in. With all the blood. That's blood. Oh. So you kind of take away all the benefits of butter by pouring all the fucking frozen beef patty juice into the frying pan along with the blood. <laughs> On the fan. 
of course now there's loads of smoke coming out because he's poured water into a fucking frying pan so it's probably all loads of smoking now it doesn't need to be you could just easily picked up the patty with his fork or with his hands and placed it softly on the frying pan and none of that would have happened and lower the heat of course but hey Going towards the middle. So after two and a half to three minutes, flip it over. Pick up all that good fat and butter. <laughs> There's no more fat left there. Again. There's nothing more left there. After two minutes, take it off the grill. I like to like spread it around to pick up all of the butter and the fat, and the grease. You heard you already. And then drop onto the plate. It's going to sit for maybe like five minutes. I'm Korean, so we use scissors, heavy-duty scissors to cut food. Which is what? I'm Korean, so you use scissors. What do other people use? Their hands. <laughs> what? <laughs> Only Korean people use scissors in kitchens. <laughs> I'm Korean, we use scissors. <laughs> okay. Which is super efficient. Don't Heavy hate on it. I'll cut my... Man, we have no light here. Let me get some light. All right, got some light here. So what we do is... Let me get it next to the camera here. Uh, I want buns for this burger, so let's go ahead and cut it this way. So he went to a really good pizza place to order pizza that he's just going to cut into circles to use as buns for his burger. Why not just buy bun, burger, regular bun, burger buns? Or, or why not just buy shitty pizzas, like cheese and tomato ones, and then just cut the bun out of that? Why do you have to go and ruin nice pizza to make buns for a burger? And why would anybody want this shit? This is like Instagram food, isn't it? That like the stuff that with it's all got cheese and you're like putting it up in the sky. Like, it's just like, it's nonsense. So who wants this shit? Why are you ruining great pizza to make butt like honestly? Like that. And then I'll square it off like this. Boom. <laughs> He's showing us how to cut a pizza into squares. <laughs> Yo, this content deserves he deserves to be put in jail for this content. Showing us how to cut a pizza so that it can fit as a burger bun is fucking diabolical. Mm. That is a nice bun with pepperoni and cheese on it. Mmm, yummy. And then this bun is called a grandma slice. I'll do the same thing. Cut around here. Uh, you know, let's cut off this whole crust. I'll enjoy that crust later. And then uh, I'll start making it into a square now. Like cutting this. That you could use as a mini pizza. And then doing this oh my god he can't even cut he can't even cut properly and not fuck up the fucking Ugh. so now i have some pizza scraps and i can use these two top and bottom bun or top and bottom bun this way and it's not over yet i'm gonna put this same pan after i cleaned it i'm gonna set this guy to about five on an electric grill let it heat up for about i don't know three minutes then i'm gonna spray this pan butter spray more butters <laughs> more butter so why you just use the butter like why is it now spray why not the okay and from there i'm gonna add the uh pizza slices that i just cut up into squares for my the perfectly cooked pizzas from the store are now gonna be fried on butter to heat re like burger buns. I just put some light on there. So, anyways, what that's gonna do is make the crust. Oh yeah, you put light on there because we couldn't see it before, could we? We couldn't see the pizzas before. We couldn't see it. Look at the difference with the light. Look at the difference, guys. We couldn't see the pizzas on the frying pan on top of sprayed butter. He added light. Now My look burger at buns. I just put some light. Now we can see the pieces, right? Now we can definitely see them. We couldn't see them before. Look, we couldn't see them. Literally, they didn't exist. Slices that I just cut they up They weren't there, look. 
before. Cover your eyes. Look, they went this. I just put some water there. So anyways, what that's going to do is make the crust nice and crispy, but the inside will be well, warm fucking read and that. soft and gooey, which is what you want for a nice, delicious, thin crust burger bun. And it will have all the good stuff from the pizza, which is pepperoni, cheese, the tomato sauce, this stuff. This is like You didn't cook any of this stuff. Why are you talking like you did anything, man? This is fucking... Um, what you call it? This is a pizza shop stolen valor, bruv. You didn't cook the pizza. Why are you acting like you cooked it? Different kind of tomato sauce, different kind of cheese. I'll leave this on for about five minutes and then I'll turn the grill off. So it'll just be nice and warm and crispy still, but it won't overcook. And while the pizza crust is starting to crisp up, get these bad oh, boys. Oh no, here comes chin on the fucking cooking. Fucking hell, bro. That's a fucking face, isn't it? <laughs> That's a face only your mother could love. Look at that grill. Look at that angle. Look at him. Look at that guy. Look at the ang look at the angle of him. Look at the angle. I'm gonna brighten my screen so I can see that. Look at that. Look at that face, bro. That's a face only a mother could love. Holy shit. A fresh tomato and fresh onion and start slicing those up. <laughs> I love how he keeps saying fresh. I love these words he uses. <laughs> a fresh tomato and a fresh onion. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> like he grew of himself on his balcony he grew the onion and the tomato on his balcony right these are some onions and tomatoes i've been growing on my second balcony <sighs> oh god a fresh tomato and a fresh onion <laughs> straight from the balcony farm At the moment, I only have a steak knife, so I'm going to use this to cut the onion up. Of course. One of the most infuriating bits about Chin is this. He's probably got 10 grand worth of camera equipment set up now, filming him record this nonsense, right? 10 grand worth of equipment. But he doesn't own a sharp knife that isn't a, what you call it, a steak knife to cut his vegetables with. Like, how is that even possible? You've got fucking 20 grand worth of camera equipment around you. Sennheiser microphones, 17 other fucking tripods, cameras out of the wazoo, a standing desks, the latest computers and shit, but you don't have a decent set of knives. Come on. That side first. Cut. That side next. Peel off the outer skin. Oh really? I didn't know you did that. And since I want the onions nice and round, I'll just cut it this way. Oh really? That's how you do it when you want it round. I didn't know that. I'll zip off the rest for later. Tomato. Remove the sticker. <laughs> Start cutting. <laughs> Remove the sticker. <laughs> <laughs> remove the sticker before you cut guys keep in mind if you got fresh tomatoes remove the sticker before you cut when you have your fresh tomatoes don't forget you can't cut a fresh tomato without removing the sticker slices I'll just have two thin slices of a tomato for it. Don't know about thin, mate. They look kind of thick to me. Snack on this on the side. Snack on the tomato on the side. Zip lock these guys. Right. <laughs> what was that about? What was that about? What was that? Why do you leave that in? And then I'll zip lock these guys. <laughs> Why do you leave that in? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with him? He's a fucking wrongin. What is wrong with him? He's not real. What was that? <laughs> what 
Was that a move? Was that a dance? What was that? <laughs> and I'll zip lock these guys. <laughs> All right. Once these are done, get them off the grill, put them onto the plate. Oops, not like that. Don't you have fucking tongs to pick up your shit? Don't you have tongs? Don't you have a fork? Even your hands to pick up the stuff. Why do you have to throw it on like that? Where's the fucking f care for your food, bro? Like just flipping the fright like. Don't put them onto the plate. What is this? Not like that. This makes me. This makes me so angry. This makes me so fucking angry. This is good. Turn this guy around. There's the burger. There's the buns. The burger's been sitting there for like half an hour. Cool. And I'm gonna use this pan now for the onions. So I'll turn the heat back up to high. More butter. Give it time to warm up. Still not hot yet. But before I add it. the onions on, what I wanna do is grab another slab of butter. <laughs> Yo, frying onions in butter is a, a decision. Decent amount right there. Slap it on the pan. Mix it around. He's, he's gonna fry the onions and the tomato in butter, right? Let me get a little more warm here. Grab the onions that I just cut up. Slap it on. This is way more onions than I'm gonna actually eat on the burger, but. Why are you making more of them? You know, why not just cook it? It smells great too. Butter and onions, try it. I just turned on the fan and there's no real time I can give you guys for this because I use an electric grill. I'm not sure how it is. Or what. The fuss, how many views does this have? 12,000, the fuss, 12,000. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. This sh dog shit vlog, this dog shit recipe cooking tutorial, whatever it is, this fucking guidebook to redactness has 12k views don't let anybody tell you you can't do something the only thing impossible only thing that's impossible is outside you know anything outside the laws of physics anything else is not impossible you can do it too for the flame grill open flame grill but just keep watching it i would say a good two to three minutes and then you can start flipping it so let me start flipping this how it looks exactly seven dirty this is hangover food but when's the last time you cooked yourself a hangover meal like i've done in previous times or you just fucking chucked a bunch of fucking shit you find in the fridge into uh, you know two bits of fucking bread and you stuffed it in your mouth when's the last time you had a desire to film that and to share it with people on social media never i have it's just shit food you're just trying to you know to sustain yourself it's not for the consumption of the world because it's terrible fucking food for the most part and it's not going to make good content. But this guy has this weird, you know, idea that people need to see this. <laughs> Holy shit. I think that shit. might be a little too early, but I do. I also don't want the onions to be like overly grilled. I want it to be crispy and crunchy too. You don't want it to be overly grilled yet. One's already burning at the top there. You want it to be okay. crunchy. It's a little brown. Look at that. Look at this little guy. It looks like a heart. Come on. It looks like a heart. Yo, he needs to call somebody, man. <laughs> he's he's falling in love with the onions. He needs to he needs to call somebody. Maybe a lady of the night or something, bro. There we go. I'll turn off the grill. From this point on, let it cook a little bit longer. All right. Take the onions off the grill. Put on this brand new plate, smaller plate. Just pour stuff into plates. No picking up, no nothing. Oh. Just so it doesn't overcook. Looks nice and golden brown here. Sorry about the shadow. Yeah, well, put a more light in it. Put a light in it. Gonna put the pan. Gonna put the butter the well tray on there. And what we're left with now is the original patty that I cooked. I got the pepperoni pizza bun. I got the grandma sliced bun. I got the grilled onions. I got the fresh tomatoes, the butter. I'm gonna put away right now. Here's what we have, onions, grilled onions, grilled onions, not like overly grilled, just grilled enough to where it still has some crunch to it. 
I've got my patty. How long is this taking? Pizza, everything is, everything is pizza. cold now. I cut it up to where they could be buns, and these are thin crust. <laughs> Fresh tomatoes over here. And Hurry do not up, ever bro. forget the mayo. Mayonnaise. This is my favorite. Mayonnaise. That's an interesting decision, isn't it? Fucking hell. Surely you won't even need to use any sauce because the pizza's already got the sauce on it, isn't it? Or if you want to maybe add more tomato. No? Would you really need to add sauce anyway? If you're already using the pizza as buns. Wouldn't they have already tomato sauce on them? Or maybe you could add something. I don't know. I don't know. Favorite mayo? You can choose whatever mayo you like, but it's a huge difference. So, oh wait, sorry, the fan was still on. So what I do from this point on? You know what? Pepperoni sounds like a. Good... <laughs> Let's hear that lovely fan one more time. Sorry, the fan is too. Slow. Let's hear oh, that fan. You can choose whatever mayo you like. The extractor fan has been on the whole time. But it's a huge difference. So, oh wait. Sorry, the fan was still on. So what I do from this point on... <laughs> the things he keeps in his edit is fucking astonishing. The things he keeps in his edit. On. You know what? Pepperoni sounds like a good bottom, right? So I put the... Yeah, good bottom, yeah. Patty on, on that pepperoni bun. Move this guy over to the side. How, how, how much effort does it take to put all that shit in? Just hurry up, bro. How long is this taking? He's still got like 10 minutes left or something. How long does it take to put... A bit of fucking frozen burger patty between two pizzas. How long? I'll grab one of those fresh tomatoes. I'll get. I'll grab this thin slice. Put it on top. Thin. That's a onion. <laughs> a thin slice. Isn't that the same slice? Isn't that the same stiff thickness as the burger? He thinks that's thin. That's the same thickness as the burger. <laughs> a thin slice of tomato. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the same thickness as the burger patty. Holy shit. On top of that. And like I said, I'll make extra of everything and I probably won't use it, but then I'll eat it. I'll nibble it on the side. Yeah, oh, yeah of course you will. As a what? As a side. You're just going to nibble like butter covered fucking paraboiled looking onion rings on the side that's what you're gonna do that's the most redacted shit i've seen in my life non-seasoned covered in fucking fridge butter that's probably been in there since like seven months ago like oh yowzers dios mios bro eat the burger and then the most important part or to me the most important part the mayo well, the this might be gross to some of you but this is my favorite thing. On top of the onions. You couldn't even put the mayo at the bottom. You had to put them on top of the onions. Just for extra g grossness, right? Cool. No worries. I'm sure it tastes lovely. And tomato. Like that. To the point where, look at this, the knife is covered in mayo, even on the handle. Why is that something to be like, like that? Why is that a good thing? You didn't, you, hold on. Why is he acting like this happened organically? Didn't you put the, hold on. Why is he acting like this happened, you know, out of nowhere? Didn't you put the knife in the fucking jar? Like that. To the point where, look at this, the knife is covered in mayo, even on the handle. But didn't you do that? Why is he surprised? When you stick the whole knife in the jar because the mail is finished because you've been drink like isn't that what happens? Sometimes the why is he acting like Alright, like that. And then usually if I have a he burger, I'll slice mayo, a, a slice of cheese on thing. it. But since we have both the bottom layer and the top layer with cheese different kinds of cheese too and pepperoni and tomato sauce all this good how stuff how long does this take just slap this on top how long does this take and look at that you got a delicious thin crust pizza burger yeah. i almost forgot about the lettuce 
a fresh leaf of lettuce. I would not normally choose this one. This is all, this is all I had. So if you have iceberg lettuce, definitely do that. And then I'm gonna cut this just so I get the crispy part of the lettuce. And you're gonna put that top of the mayo covered with onions. Slap that on top. Grab another, like near the center of the lettuce. Defecated. He has demolished. He has, like, he has annihilated. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? This is famous. This. This <laughs> is like a. This is like. This is like the. This is like. <laughs> this is like his house got blown up or something. <laughs> <laughs> His house got blown up. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? His house got blown up. <laughs> he ruined his Joe's pizza for this. Joe's pizza did not deserve this. Joe's pizza deserved better than this. Oh my god, bro. Oh, I'm, my eyes are leaking. So is my nose. Everything is leaking right now. Oh, I can't take this at all. I can't take this. Oh. oh my god, bro. I can't take this. I can't. I can't take this. What is this, man? Wow. Grab that. Cover it up. Boom. Okay. So I don't have a free Look at that background, bro. Can you get more fucking divorced dad than this? The guitar in the reflection. Like, look at how sad that room is. Like, you can tell there's not been a woman's touch in there. Or what? Like, look at this, bro. Look at that. Fucking hell, chin. Freaking kitchen table here. No chairs, so I'm gonna do it like this. My favorite soda right now. Grape Zevia. I love that he didn't show us a bit before he opened it. <laughs> That's kind of a bit tizzy, isn't it? Don't you find that interesting? My favorite soda, but he opened it before he showed us. <laughs> He kind of covered it up. He didn't want to. Sh he didn't want to show us before he opened. It. His bad luck. <laughs> he had to cover it up. Yeah. They find it odd. It, naturally, the first thing you want to do is like show it to the camera and then open it. Why did he like cover it? Like like this. <laughs> My favorite soda right now. He did it. Look, he opened it and then he showed us. Zevia. Of course, he wants to. He doesn't want. He want, doesn't want the calories and shit. He doesn't want to drink a, a regular grape juice, so he gets a grape Zevia. But then he has this on his table, on his plate. Chin like definitely has some sort of eating disorder in it. He doesn't want to get fat from the juice, but then he eats that. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> Low fat Zevia grape juice, like zero calories, but. Whatever, whatever. Let's try this out. You know, I forgot egg, but I think maybe that might be too much. Right? He was going to put a fried egg in that. In between two pizza patties, a frozen burger thing, onion rings that look like they're white, fresh tomatoes, mayonnaise, and then an egg. <laughs> How much butter does he want? How is he not? How is he still alive? 
How does he not have diabetes? Focusing in on that? Why? It doesn't matter, bro. It does not matter. This doesn't help. Nothing here looks good. From the color of your hands to the thing. Look, look at the eye. <laughs> look at the eye in the background. He's always looking. Look at the eye in the background. Look at this fucking psycho. Look at him. Look at that eye. Look at that psycho. Here, have a bite. Have a bite. Bite. Have it. What the fuck, man? Let's see if I can focus this guy. Anyhow, that's the burger. Can you hear the crunch of the of the onions? They haven't been cooked. They sound raw. Can you hear him chewing the onions? <laughs> they sound raw. Can you hear it? You can hear the onions. <laughs> He's, you know, they're, not been, they're not being cooked properly. Can you hear the onions? <laughs> Is he, the onions are raw. Look at that. Look, he's questioning his life choices. Yo, oh my god, bro. This man is no. human. <laughs> when she comes she had a good time <laughs> when she says I'm coming I'm coming <laughs> When she... <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> when she says I'm five minutes away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, my fucking chest. My fucking chest is killing me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, really? Song title, NSYNC, written and performed by me. Produced by Byron Acosta. Oh, really? That, we were so we were so eager to find out who did that. Thanks for letting us know, Chin. Thanks for letting us know, bro. We were like on the edge of our seats. We didn't know what who did that song. So thanks for letting us know. But Jesus Christ, man. What a horror show. What an undeniable, absolute horror show that was. <sighs> Written and performed by me. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. The butter. Look at that. All that butter, bro. On that big frying pan for that one small burger patty. Oh, God. Anyways. <sighs> I need to get more like chin. That's what I need to do. I need to get more like chin. I need to stop stop fucking around and get more like chin. 